Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we will consider an input signal X of t has been uh, applied to a, a differentiator. Uh, what is the output signal, the expression for y of t and uh, later I need to sketch uh, y of t. Is that okay? First, uh, x of t is equal to t plus 1 into u of t minus u of t minus 1. So let me expand this first. Therefore, what I am going to get is x of t. x of t is going to be, so t plus 1 into multiplication of this. So I would multiply this. First t into, I am going to get uh, u of t minus u of t minus 1 plus 1 into u of t minus u of t minus 1. So I have considered this. Yes, this is x of t the being expanded. Now I need to find uh, the output signal y of t. What is output signal y of t? y of t is going to be differentiation of x of t d by dt of x of t what I am going to get. So it is differentiation of two functions here. So first what I do is I will uh, first keep t as it is and I will uh, differentiate u of t minus u of t minus 1. We know that uh, d by dt of u of t this is the standard result. If I take the differentiation of a unit step I am going to get unit impulse signal d by dt of u of t is nothing but del of t. You Knowing that standard result I would write del of t minus d by dt of u of t minus 1 is going to be del of t minus 1. Is this okay? Now plus and I will keep the second function as it is that is uh, u of t minus u of t minus 1 into d by dt of t which is going to be 1. Is this okay? Plus this term. What is that term? u of t minus u of t minus 1. I need to differentiate that. So I am going to get del of t minus del of t minus 1. This is what I am going to get. So ultimately, let me expand this. Uh, again multiply t. I will just take t inside. I am going to get t into del of t minus t into del of t minus 1 plus this is u of t minus u of t minus 1 I would write this as it is plus del of t minus del of t minus 1 is this okay so now what is t into del of t this task is very simple so let me write this this is t if I want to represent this is how t looks like that is being multiplied with unit impulse. This is del of t. What I am going to get? The answer is 0. Because at 0th position, uh, this is 0. First signal is 0. Second signal, its height is 1. That, that uh, I am going to get 0. So this is, this turns out to be 0. t into del of t is 0. Minus t into del of t minus 1. So making use of time shifting property of uh, impulse signal that is going to be 1 into del of t minus 1. So this comes from making use of time shifting property of uh, impulse signal plus u of t as it is minus u of t minus 1 also as it is. The rest of the things I will just write them as they are. This is del of t minus del of t minus 1. Next that is equal to uh, first I'll write these two terms u of t and u of t minus 1 u of t minus u of t minus 1 next I would write uh, del of t and I have got this and this same uh, del of t minus 1 del of t minus 1 which is nothing but minus 2 times del of t minus 1 so this is finally going to be my output y of t. The next task is to sketch y of t. So how does that look like? So let's uh, check that to sketch y of t. 
so just let me write uh, let me draw the x axis and y axis so that i can sketch that signal well yes sorry for that that was the y axis and this is the x axis next thing is let me indicate the same thing this signal i would call it as y of t this is with respect to the time t so let me also write the time divisions starting from 0 this is 1 this is 2 so i would stop here yes how does that signal look like u of t u of t minus 1 i can sketch that very easily how does that look like this is going to be u of t minus u of t minus 1 this is how it looks like and later that needs to be added with the del of t del of t is there at 0 if I add it I just add one arrow mark here and then 2 times del of t minus 1 this is uh, impulse signal which exists at 1 and its amplitude is going to be it is being known as minus 2 so I would indicate somewhere here and uh, at the position 1 and let me call this as minus 2 so finally this is how the signal y of t would look like I hope uh, I have made the points clear here there are two important points first thing is to sketch y, to get the expression for y of t and later is to sketch y of t so this is the expression and this is how finally the signal y of t looks like if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i'm happy to answer those doubts till then thank you very much for watching